Hey guys, howdy, how's it going? Indulger here, back with the conclusion of Eat the Rage, week 119. We made it, it's over, it's done, the defense is in, everything is set, wow, I got lucky. So, this was the last fight, I got a, a perfect there, a perfect here, a one unit loss, didn't count, one unit loss, didn't count, perfect, 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 so <laughs> only 38 points lost on defense, that allows us to get the top tier both rank, I don't think rank 1,000's in play. It might have been. I just had no faith in my defense. Rank 3,000 still in play. And then, of course, AR tier 38 is in play as well. So let's watch some of these defensive results, defensive results and then we'll go do two fights today. Got to go quick because I'm running out of time. <laughs> running out of time. Oh, so this catapult takes out sort of... I don't mind this being gone. What was that? Was that a panic manner? So, yeah, having Bram in range isn't the end of the world and they're gonna find out that when you don't set s slots come on this is just lazy what is this <laughs> this is just lazy i've been fighting the laziest people this week i don't know why but they're just like yep yeah, i'm gonna plop kiria that's fine you can take her down she did die now you got a hell to deal with and a ruse and a bram coming at you and they really not great position here to deal with the follow-up. Again, I'm kind of giving you the pawn so I can win the game. That's generally, when I've had troubles dealing with things like Bram, I just, I give you the first one and let the action begin. Now, they've got an Ike here to stop. <laughs> hold on, hold on a minute. I thought we were going to start here. But no, because you were threatening the Bram, Annette did what she does. It's why this team is just kind of fun. Is that you, you can't really just hit and run. You gotta deal with that and that, especially if she goes right. If you get her clogged left, not good. But now they're in real trouble because Hell's gonna go take out that blue unit that Robin's donezo. Done, son. And here comes the pain. You can get rid of that the hell. That was nice. That was fortuitous for them. But, and they still got Bram on the field. You got this Chris who doesn't know how to deflect magic or do anything to stop that. <laughs> and it's turn four. And it must be their last fight of the week because they just take the win. And I'll take those points. Thank you for that. We got His Highness to wrap things up. One of the few perfect clears this week. Which, again, I, I make... This is plus 10 Ike. I make... God, you guys are so lazy. <laughs> Uh, I make no uh, claims that this is a good defense at all. I really don't believe it is. They're just going to Ike Plop. That's cool. That's what I did too. I just Ike Plop because you can do this. I have no pressure on any follow-ups here. And Ike is a good hell killer because if I do force her to dance, he's just going to... Is this a quick repost, Ike? Yep. It's a good set. No follow-up. So, Oh, is it no follow-up quick repost? Wait, is that a bit overkill? Why do you need to run? Okay, just in case you are completely outsped, you still want to double. Man, that's a little overkill for me. I think I would probably go no follow-up, attack speed solo. I mean, who's outspeeding? Who's really outspeeding? Are you are you giving speed? No. See, this peony's really not giving any speed. Are you giving speed? So the drive speed, drive attack. Okay. I mean, just give your peony some speed. Just give her drive speed at least. A bit lazy. I come close to cracking this nut because they have to bank on this Freya from barely killing the Kyria. I mean, I really probably should just get. If I'm going to run this again, I need to give her some bonds. She really never got by herself all week. We bruised. This is a bit surprising. This freaking. This Bram can't finish the Ike with Hardy bearing. Oh, that's because he's got no fault. I, I, I watched this at, at first glance. I was like, why is why is Bram not killing you? This is why you run it, guys. No fault. Ike stops Bram. And then for some inexplicable, inexplicable reason, Eldigan decides to dance or just to hit the Ike. He's not even doing five damage. So I don't quite understand why he engaged. I don't get that. He didn't do five damage, so why did he hit? Why did he not dance the Bram or the uh, Annette? My understanding of how the AI determines what to do is that the dancer can do at least five damage, they will make the hit. In this case, 
In this case, it must be the last fight because uh, that's what you get in the last day here. His Highness is... It's really hard to win this last day because nobody needs the pots, but we got lucky. We got lucky, so... Let's do it, guys. I don't know how we managed to do so well this week. I do believe I have one rematch in the pocket. I'm just going through really quickly here. If you haven't seen my teams, I'm not going to spend some time today going over it. But it's a lot of enemy phase this week. Making sure all the slots are set. Everything looks good. Rucker's been taking a lot of my seals the last day or so. So i got to make sure that's within bounds. The only change we did make was on this Team five, 5. I did put a peony on here because we used Dimitri yesterday and we won, but I don't really want Lucy. I want speed. I want to dance, so I just want to dance, guys. Sometimes you just feel like dancing. Ren, is this, are you going to bring it home? I think this might be the last fight we have to do that gives me some pause. Okay, well, that was a basic Tiburn racing dance uh okay please don't have an assist you don't how how wonderful <laughs> how wonderful so what should happen is i should kill this man will i though will i though will i though i'm assuming i have a hector here you know so i mean okay if unit initiates combat and I can't make a follow-up attack, so it's just, yeah. And then if I'm at 100%, unit make a guaranteed follow-up attack. Won't have a burst. I don't think I can one-shot you. I, I don't think... I don't think my Dimitri really matches up well against Tibber. It's been a while. But I was thinking just, boom, right there. Uh, with Dimitri, I can't shut this racing down if I wanted to. But I was thinking is you just die... And then you go, dance, here, one, two, uh, you won't even get me. And meanwhile, I have another dancer over here. Alright, so Tiburn's in a position where, if I did shut this dancer down, I could hide somebody here, one, two, three, here, here, and here. It's three spots, four, five, six. If he engages me in this position, one, two, three, nobody can get me. So if I do use my, my final team five, <sighs> yeah, you'll get Gale Force off. But I don't care. You don't have pass, so you're not getting past me. You are not going to crack Dimitri. It's not going to happen. No, not going to happen. What else do we have? A Guidance Trap, a Useless Sothis, a Hardy Bearing Bram, and a Tethys that we can stop with Mila. Uh, it just seems like a Mila here and then Dimitri, and we just talked about it. So, I mean, I don't know. We've got a lot to do today, so, I mean, let's just try it. A cruel dream, then. Indeed, a cruel dream, then, Ren. I'm going to play Stimpy to your Ren, and we'll just make you upset. How about that? Does that sound fun? Uh, I can't get the rally here. Ah, Freya. Yeah, horses can't run no fall up, right? It's an infantry only skill, so I just I would like a counter to Bram. It doesn't involve no follow up Ike. I mean I'm leaning closer and closer every day to just freaking biting the bullet and just making no follow up Ike because no follow up Ike would change the calculus here. I just hit, plop him right there. Bye bye, and then you move first, cause oh I don't know which one of these moves first, actually. They're both melee, so I don't know. Worst case scenario, one, two, three, and then you move and dance, and I don't know. No fall of Ike seems like we could it could work here. But anyway, we're not playing that. So let's just go back to what we're doing. We're going to shut down that dancer so that Bram doesn't get us. We're going to put you there. Dance with the peony. Say he gets Gale Force off. He should just kill himself. Anybody have Wings of Mercy? Uh-oh, you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, will Lynn be able to do anything? What do you do, Lynn? I'm not familiar with your kit too much. Effective against flying. Grants a bunch of stuff during combat. Okay, how much speed you got? You don't have enough speed? I don't think so. Doesn't look like you're going to double him, but, but you also have a sturdy impact. You also have a Wings of Mercy. But I'm shutting that down, so it should, at worst case, it just should be these three, and that's it. And that's it. I probably want you there so I can at least open this up. 
mill is probably going to come up here. Well, actually, I don't need to do that. I can just... I do want you to transform, though. I mean, Freya can come after the Bram. Is there a reposition? No. So what should happen is Bram's just going to end right there. Do you have any way to move? Bram ends there, and then it's a Sothis and a Dancer. So the Dancer should either be here or here. Depending how clogged it gets. I think the Dancer will actually just end there. Okay, if I did put Mela here, can I do that? I'm going to engage the Tiburn here. One, two, three. Yes, that is, that is a viable opportunity to do that there. So what I could do is bring air down here, break this, Freya, break this. That will be a panic, but I won't really get any bonuses. Or at least it will determine, it'll determine when I do it. Because I can give Freya bonuses with a peony dance, or I could wait until I move her. So I think I want to come down, break this, move Freya, do that, come over here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the dancer has to end there, just based on the configuration. I'm going to talk about that one more time before I begin, but then again, Dimitri comes up. Oh, actually, won't Freya get a bonus anyway, because she'll get the diagonal bonus too? So it's kind of unavoidable. I'm going to get hit by that panic manner. But I still should be okay to break the Bram. I mean, Bram, this is a minus defense Bram. It's okay. And then this Sothis. Sothis is not going to get a double off. I should be fine. I should be fine. So let's do one more discussion on one other item I mentioned. Oh, yeah. Where is the Dancer going? If we shut her down, which we have, well, then... Again, I'm just a, I'm just banking on this Tiburn dying. If he doesn't die, I do believe he won't get one shot, but he'll get a Gale Force off, and then... He doesn't have any other choice but to hit me. But that Lin might go first. <laughs> uh, okay. Are we going to kill the Lin? She also has a sturdy impact. And a moon bow. <laughs> I'm, I'm riding you, buddy. I mean, you've got 48 defense. I think you can take care of these defensive threats, but you never know. Just say these two die. And then the dancer should be left. I'm just assuming this plays out like I want it to. And then, okay, Sothis either comes over here or she comes here. Who's she going to be targeting? I'm assuming she'll want to be targeting the Freya because she'll be closer. So she'll come here. But what if she doesn't? What if she comes over there? Okay, let's just assume that. It's possible she goes right, but I, I think she comes down. So, the, yeah, the Dancer will probably end up in one of these two spots. I believe Bram will go down. It's just he's closer to everything. He'll go down. And that leaves the Dancer to either pick this or this, if Sothis has seeded it. I think she's coming here. What happens if Lynn... Okay, okay, let's let's look at let's look at this. One more thing. I'm, I'm concerned. Uh, <laughs> I'm concerned here. What happens if she wings of mercy here and doesn't die? Okay, let's just assume she doesn't die. And that allows that jump to happen. What happens then? She comes here. Just say you don't attack me and you re and you dance this Lynn. She can go one, two, here. So this is vulnerable. It is vulnerable. So now I'm changing my mind. I don't think I want to put anybody here because that jump can happen. So... And considering I think Tetsis has a chance to come here, let's change it up and break this with air. Come here. Come here. And try to avoid that. Okay, did you guys follow all that? I tried my best to try to explain the rationale of the moves without being too boring. Just you try. It may not work. I think this is what I'm going to try to... Don't be careless. Good morning. Just going to do a Dimitri plot because... I, Again, I'm doing a Dimitri plot for a couple reasons. Um, I have a lot of defense. They are defense. Don't be careless. I don't think she's going to be able out, out, to outspeed me. And yes, this Tiburon will get a double off, but... We will not falter. We're about to find out. I'm just banking on the fact that I can kill this bird and this flying Lin. Oh, the dancer just decided to go for it. What? I guess we are killing this thing. <laughs> okay. 
Well, that, that makes this a lot easier. Um, do we need that? We do need some pots here, so let's just kill that Bram, and then what? What do they do from here? Like, they don't have a choice. That was a lot easier than I expected. All that discussion for no reason. All right, so we were always talking about having Freya take you down, and that is still on the table. There's a panic manner here, so I don't really want to boost with this rally. So it just comes down to a simple break the bram. Penny's in a position where she can't help anybody, so. Um, but hold on a minute. I am not getting shut down by that tactics room. 42 speed. Uh, I will just naturally kill the Lin. And is there a guy, is there any way? Nope. So I think I'm going to move here. Dance, break the Lin, and then with these two left, Tethys has to either decide how she wants to die to a goat or to a dude with one eye. Uh, both don't seem great. Pretty embarrassing. I mean, would you want to die to a goat? I don't think I would. <laughs> Hold on, let me think about it. Yeah, I think I want to go for it. Are you preventing any doubles? Effective, blah, blah, blah. Nope. Your speed is 40. I will definitely be able to double you because I have the solo skill. And then Tethys, again, gets to choose how she wants to fall. Just make sure that Peony can move. Peony can move. One shot, Lynn. Didn't even require two hits. All right. And we just need the one ether, so I guess let's come around here. Do I have smite anywhere? I do have the smite, so... Pretty sure I just need the one ether. I don't know. I actually we, we should have checked that. The glimmer of life. I could be super ballsy and actually just. It will be done. Nah, never mind. I thought you had smite. I was gonna smite under there, but I don't have it. So I don't think there's el there's much else I can do here. She wanted to die to the goat, so she did. I am shut down by tactics room this time. Just Let's have the goat do her thing, and air will get that one. Don't be careless. I think I'm gonna use Dimitri's help to move out of the range of this thing. Ready. Aerobatics Ready. jump. And then smite up there? Do we, do we want to do that? Would that, would that possibly ruin it? If that's the trap, I'm going to get blowed up. It's a 50. Say I get hit there. That's not great. Don't be so I could do this instead. Although it doesn't really net me much. But I like smiting, so let's do it anyway. Like this. We got plenty of time. We just need to avoid the Sothis. Don't go after the goat lady, please. Okay, very well done. Expect nothing Don't, be less. Careless. Don't be careless. We weren't. We did a good job. I'm really surprised. Why did the dancer go, Ren? That, was I really going to one-shot that Tibbern? I didn't think I was. Holy crap. <laughs> I one-shot the Tibbern? I, I didn't even have that as, an op, as a possibility on, on my uh, little checklist there. So, Okay. Okie dokie, pretty easy week, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm really surprised. Brad, you were on my uh, radar for a while. I think I've got you. This might be a, uh, this might be a cav line, but I'm curious. So let's do it, Brad. Brad, I just have a feeling this isn't gonna be too scary. Not trying to pick on Brad, although I kinda am. We've got a Bram here with no Hardy bearing. Corrin, one. Nothing scary here. There's a restore trap with one dancer, which I can shut down with the Milla if we wanted to. It's a five catapult, which will not hit me. 
I'm thinking something dumb again. We don't need the pot. So we just, what if I just frayed that Bram? What if I just frayed that Bram? Maybe even uh, I, mean, I got the free healing tower, but there is a restore trap. Weird place for a restore trap because if this happens, I mean I guess they're just going miracle. Let's just say Corin wants to get restored. She does have the most attack, so she is viable to being chilled by attack. There is a panic manner here. Is anybody running any buffs? Yes. Yeah, there's a home there, so that will get panicked. And, well, you, well, maybe not, because I don't, she can't restore herself, so. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Veronica's running the home. So Veronica will restore the, the Rhine either here or where she stands. But then the, the, the AI is not going to move. They're not going to move, so she's just going to. Worst case, be here. You know, if we take that Reinhardt down, uh, why, why can't I just put Ike there? I mean, it's probably the trap, but so, <laughs> so what? <laughs> it's the trap. I let it go, and then Reinhardt dies, and then I got to hit twice by Veronica, which I, I guess that's not great. This is attack speed push with a two. Any other wings of mercy here? No follow up. How worried should I be about you, Corin? I've never really found you be too troublesome in AR. I don't really have an answer, an obvious answer here. I mean, I like kind of going Ike there. It does seem like it's going to take a little bit to develop. I don't really want Freya to take that hit because she's kind of squishy and she has to take... <laughs> Could we do this with Surtur? <laughs> kind of want to use Surtur. It's just the brand that, that annoys me. In the old days, Surtur, we will take this. I think no problem. I could just throw Surtur right there. What do they do? What can they do? What, I mean, what what can they do actually? I could just pinch you. All right, I'm leaning Surtur now. I don't know why. Do I have a? Oh, okay. I don't know how I do it though. How how can I get Surtur? There's no smite on this team. Is there a reposition? Okay. Two Veronica hits. Again, I could. I really want this arm trap for my uh, my girl, cause then she she's just dead. He's just dead, rather. Sorry, Ryan. This is a pretty beefy Ryan, though. It's an attack, res push, res solo. Cause I do want to. I kind of want to have a green there for that. I don't know. Let me think about it some more, and I'll come back with a team. Well, I went Ike. I went Ike because I, I don't see how they're stopping this. I, Ike matches up favorably against everybody. There, There is no Wings of Mercy here. The Bram could come. I mean, the Bram could come and get danced. I, I guess. Who will go first? Yeah, the Corn should actually go first and then get danced here. That leaves Bram in the back with a Dancer. It's not great, but it's just the one Dancer. And if Bram's not in my range, I can take a hit. Should I go for the healing tower? I don't think it really matters with the restore trap on board. We talked about the restore trap. I mean, everybody is panicked, but like she can't get out of here. There's just the one dance, so they they can't get this train moving. That gives me an opportunity to to get rid of the Rhine. Unless I'm wrong and they will start shuffling, I don't think so. I believe the only unit that will move in a restore trap condition like this is the Veronica, so she can't get out of here. And even then, say she comes here, turn two. Say she wants to restore somebody else, like, you know, you, here. She still can't be danced. So I have plenty of time to deal with this. So ideally, we'd like to test the trap with Ike. If it doesn't work. If it's not the trap, then I could just go and it's game over. 
Alternatively, I could test the trap right now. I actually just do that. Come here, dance, and come out. I can actually test that right now. So maybe I should? If we want to get rid of the panic manner or the tactics room. Knowing if it is a trap is actually pretty beneficial. So I'm going to do that. I'm assuming it's not. So I'm going to come here, do that, do an aerobatics jump, and then get out. Expect nothing less. As expected. As expected. So, now, we probably want to have somebody else take the hit for us. You better. Just you try. You'd better, Ike. You'd better tread lightly. All right. We do have the ability to hit them, so maybe I do want to take the healing tower out. I don't know. Ah, Frey, you kind of ruined my plans here, girl. But maybe not. If I come down here and then dance you, I can reposition with Ike, shove the air here. Yeah, that, that should work. I want to do this. And I don't want Ike to be involved because Ike's the one that has to do all the work. So I kind of want to leave him clean. Good morning. Your orders. Now I can test it. Ike saved. That's correct. And I can... Well, I can't do anything. I know it's the trap, so... Yes. Just you try. There we go. We've tested both traps. Uh, the restore keeps happening, but now I can do what he needs to do over there. I think we're just going to use... What are we going to do here? How can we get Ike up there? Because I want to do this now. We don't need the pot, so it really is no major hurry. I guess we'll do this? Could we reposition? This is going to be a complicated move here. I think... I want to end turn Ike. Dance him here so Peony's behind him. That allows him to move again. He'll have ability to jump. I'll move the Freya. He can jump here, move the air out of the way, and then shove him up. <laughs> wow, that's complicated. And turn Ike, there we go, and then Freya, Ike jumps here, air gets out of the way, there's the one dancer, let's be wor worrisome about that, there's gonna be a restore, probably, oh, actually, maybe not, it's just a 25 though, so maybe, yeah, she's gonna restore somebody, and then from there, there is no dance, there is no rally, so Ryan has to die, and then somebody has to move, which one is it gonna be? Melee should move first. I don't know which one it will be. I'll just say it's Corin. If Corin moves first, then that she gets danced, and you do not get danced. Yes. Either way, I think we're fine. It should be a restore to start us off, then a dead Rhine, because there is nothing else they can do. There's nothing else they can do. Dead Rhine, and then who moves first? Corrin or the Sophus? Corrin move. Okay, well, this is even better. You go after the block, and now you're dead. So you can die now. Thank you. And now we have a Bram to deal with. However, um, not really, because what's going to happen here is she's going to keep restoring, I believe. I mean, you, that's going to get rid of panic, is it not? I'll tread lightly. Again, Ike, you better tread lightly. Really want to take the Bram out. It's the only thing that can possibly hurt me here. But if I back up... And just come back, what happens then? Uh, I think you still restore and then get danced, and maybe you restore again. I don't see a way where this Sothis lives. I also don't see a way where this Bram gets danced. That's the only thing that's a problem. Because Nils is not adjacent to him now.
If I did something like that to get my boost, do what I want to do that? Do I want to stay here or do I want to back up? That's the question. Do I want to stay here or do I want to back up? In any event, I want to do this, I believe. I don't see any way that Bram's going to do anything, so I want to get Freya out of here. Understood. Got it. I'm leaning backwards, but I won't get the res boost, and there's a lot of res units here. I am getting debuffed by Veronica now. If I did that, if I did this, what would that do? I think that might be an okay thing to do. I reposition and I come back with Lucina. Leave it to me. And now I can dance her and do something like that. And I just did it. <laughs> um, panic banner. Let's try that. Should be a restore on somebody, and then a dance, and then I'm gonna get hit by Veronica, which will hurt a little bit, and then she couldn't outspeed me. How disappointing! And that's the dead soap this time. And then Bram, come on down, Bram, come on down, Bram. Oh boy! I'll tread lightly. Yes. Say hello to the goat lady again. Got it. Good morning. Yes. What's and that's it. It's never really in doubt here. Let's pretend we care about the Ethan. We don't, though, because it's the last fight, Brad. It's the last fight, Brad. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I have a feeling if we didn't take that minus 80 on day two or three, we'd probably get top 1,000. But here's the thing, guys. It's a butterfly effect. If I didn't take that minus 80, would I have gotten the defense results that I did? Probably not. So look, you can criticize. I've had, I got some criticism in the comments. Let's take a look at the top 50 in the friends list while I talk. Congratulations, Luna. Another great week. Fred did a good job too. MB's up here. Um, you can criticize me taking that minus 80 early on in the week, but it did a couple things. I really do believe it put me in a better position to A, get easier defense fights, and then B, uh, even on offense, I think we probably matched up better than in some of the whales. So you may have the opinion that, oh, indulge you, you're a fay tuber, and you should be doing the most difficult things as possible so you can be in uncomfortable situations so you can entertain your your clientele. Yeah, I get that stance, but I also don't care. <laughs> I like winning versus principle. I, Ice made that comment. Thanks, Ice. Um, <laughs> you guys do you. I'm going to do me, okay? <laughs> I uh, hope you have found at least some entertainment in today's activities, this week's activities. If you do have any other AR comments for me, again, that's my that's my principles. That's what I've always stood for. Efficiency in life, in games, efficiency. Ride the waves, ride the meta, do what you need to do, and you'll do a good job. Or, you know, you can just be a whale and buy a bunch of stuff, and you can, you can, <laughs> you can win that way. I don't recommend that. It costs a lot of money, but uh, again, that's another way to play it. But um, it, I have to make this comment again too, like you know, like so. Um, this is the first week we used Ike, so I'm not gonna. I, it's gonna be weird because I, I, I kind of positioned the video series to be free to play friendly, and now I know it's kind of weird because I have a resplendent Ike, but. Uh, you do with that what you will. Let me know how <laughs> I want me to play that going forward. But anyway, that will do it for uh, this week. We'll, we'll look at the top players while I close out. I want to do my spiel here. If you want to be a part of the program, Light Dark Week is open for business, guys. Any newcomers are preferred. Again, take a look at the one week, one uh, day a week video series I do on on Mock Battle specifically. I do three fights a week. The order and current queue are in the video description on that mock battle video. If you want to be a part of the program, all you got to do is let me know in the comments below. That's it. And then again, if you want to hang out with me daily, talk more AR, hang out with me on Discord. Until we meet again, guys, 
Next week is Naga and Seiros. Plan accordingly. Take care. Bye-bye.